Um, <laughs> that's what's wrong with this socket. You can't, you can't put a plug in it because it's too close to the carpet. <laughs> what a muppet! Look at that, boom! Turn it on. Oh, fixed. <laughs> what have you made? A dirty snowman. Uh -huh. dirty snowman. Dirty snowman. Yay! Right then, so slowly but surely, I've been trying to move some of my stuff out of the lab because the lab <laughs> is an hell of a mess. Anyway, um, yeah, so a bit of work to do. And uh, yeah, got rid of all of the boxes, which is nice. Uh, still plenty of mucking about to do. And uh, yeah, I tell you though, made some good progress yesterday. So we'll turn this into the sewing room laboratory very soon. Make sure you remove all fixtures and fittings. Another job I hate painting. Make sure you put the wife to work as well. Why what? I said make sure you put the wife to work as well. Good dog. <laughs> 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 We're having a bit of a discussion about these nails that someone, previous owners, decided to fit into the door, which was very kind of them. Vicky says are very, very useful for hanging stuff on. Um, yeah, that may be the case, but we could really do with getting rid of them, don't you think, babe? Please. No, we're not, <laughs> we're not keeping them. Yeah, anyway, so some noob jacquage decided it would be a good idea to stuff nails in the door. So a quick tip then, uh, if you don't want to wreck your door, stick... Uh, <coughs> oh, 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 oh. There we go. Stick a bit of cloth behind your, your nail puller, your hammer, and that hopefully should stop you from <coughs> ruining your door. Wow! What a really stupid idea that was. One of the other problems with this room is that we only have one socket. A, it's painted blue, and B, it lives down here. Uh, it's live at the moment, so you need to be a bit careful. Right, okay. Yeah! Well, we're gonna take this apart, and maybe see if we can turn off this ring main. And um, we'll look at putting a, a new a new one in and a, a new set in in the not too distant. Okay. Let's just show you. I'm not going to go through the whole painting process. This isn't a DIY channel for painting your house. But um, ooh, is this putty gone off? Well, anyway, we'll make it work. And don't forget, your painter's radio. Students are very aware of what they're paying, and they're very aware of what they should be getting in return. Painter's radio. Martin, you know, okay, they... so take a piece of paper, a uh, sandpaper, excuse me, and um, sort of carefully make sure that all of your um, putty holes that you've filled in are flush. You should probably use a block, really, and that will make sure that you don't um, indent it by putting too much pressure on the, on the bit that you're sanding. But anyway, run round and just get all of those bad boys sorted out. All right, make sure your paint is thoroughly, thoroughly mixed. You could use an electric drill with a coat hanger or something like that. I've chosen to use an old steel rod. And then pour your paint into your tray, make sure your tray is relatively uh, clean and uh, then 
a bit of luck, we're ready to actually start roller in. We'll be replacing the carpet in the future. Right, let's get some of that on the wall. And don't forget to put the young lady to work too. <laughs> Actually, I feel very chauvinistic when I say things like that. To be fair to her, she's always chipping in and uh, she's doing a great job. Now, we've had a bit of an, in, uh, an issue here where um, trying to add more paint has uh, uh, resulted in less paint. <laughs> Um, I don't think the paint's dried quickly enough, so as soon as I went to add some more paint um, it took off the paint that I put down. So yeah, we're having a bit of fun doing this anyway. Whew. Well, it's gone dark outside and we're running from the light of one bulb, so we're going to stop. But we've got the first coat down. Still haven't done anything about that electrical socket over there. Ah, it's another new day and uh, getting the second coat on. Everything's starting to uh, to look pretty good. When things had dried this morning, it was all looking quite pleasant. Oh yeah, the wife's sewing room, office, laboratory, it's all starting to take shape. Right, honey? Uh-huh. <laughs> and then, you're the good lady doing some carpeting. Woo, yay. <sighs> oh yeah, look at that. Double strip lamped madness. Uh, yeah, we still didn't wire up this rather dodgy looking bit yet. But, good news, we now have gotten rid of the black carpet, everything's painted, and we've got some strip lights up. They're LED strip lamps, so cool. Well, would you look at that, as fast as, uh, as fast as we got this room all cleaned up, we suddenly got populated with stuff. All right, here it is, a bit of dubious engineering. May have made a mistake here, guys and girls. What's wrong with this socket? I mean, look at it, it's lovely. It's got, you know, LED on it, two USB ports, switches. Yes, yeah, fantastic. Um, um, <laughs> that's what's wrong with this socket you can't you can't put a plug in it because it's too close to the carpet <laughs> what a muppet oh boy okay uh, back to square one mmm nice pint of tea very important um, so uh, as you're well aware from just a few seconds ago uh, we've repainted the room, I've installed some new sockets, I put the new sockets exactly where the old sockets were. Stupid really, because I had a problem with the old socket, I found it was a bit too close to the carpet and you couldn't plug things in, as you saw earlier as well. Um, anyway, uh, <laughs> yeah, so uh, still got the same problem, because I put the socket exactly where the old socket was. Now, we met Dave from Americal, say hello Dave. Hello Dave. Uh, your mate Dave from America has come up with a fantastic idea. We've just turned the electricity off in the house, the electric city, the electricery, um, and he says if we just take this off, rotate it and stuff it back on, that'll fix it. I'm inclined to agree with him. I think we'll have a go at that. Ultimately, it'll mean that the writing will be the wrong way up, the switches will be the wrong way up, um, and USB ports will be on the bottom instead of the top, but at least you'll be able to plug stuff in and the cables will come up this way. Most people don't suffer from this problem, like Europeans and Americans, they have two or three pins, and a lot of the time the uh, cables come directly out the back of the plug uh, that you're plugging in. But unfortunately here in England, we do suffer from that problem. So um, we're gonna go ahead and uh, we're gonna go ahead and see if we can turn this thing around. OK, 
Okay, great news. As you can see, I have now turned this whole plug socket the other way up. So now it's become an Australian English plug socket. Um, and uh, yeah, me mate Dave from America. Hi everybody. Said do this, and I reckon it might work. So have a go. Look at that. Boom. Turn it on. Oh, fixed. <laughs> oh my goodness, it's a Fray Bentos steak and kidney pie. Okay. Yep. Doesn't look amazingly appetizing right now. Boom. And there it is. The best looking frame bentos you've ever seen in your life. Well, I just got cheated by frame bentos. Look in there. It's empty. Unbelievable.